Alrighty, preschool. So here it is, chapter nine of Junie B, first grader, boss of lunch. So this is the final chapter of this book, okay? It's titled Baloney. So this starts off with Junie B journaling. So she's writing in a journal, okay? So Monday, dear first grade journal, room one is still mad at me about Friday. After we went back to the room, Mrs. Gutsman brought bologna sandwiches for the children who didn't eat. And they weren't a hit. I sat at my desk and I ate out of my new lunchbox. I had a tasty peanut butter and jelly sandwich because brought lunch is better than bought lunch. And that is not even my fault. Some of the children watched me eat. They made growly faces at me. Today, Herbert is my only friend. Also, Lenny and Jose are being reasonable. I wish Friday never happened. From Junie B, first grader. I peeked my eyes at the clock. It was almost 2.15, just one more hour before I could go home. I tried to make the clock go faster with my eyes. It did not actually work that good. Just then, there was a knock on our door. Mr. Scary answered it. Why, hello, he said. Why, hello yourself, said a friendly voice. And guess what? It was Mrs. Gutsman. She walked in the room with two boxes in her arms. My heart pounded and pounded to see that woman, because what if she came to scold me? I slumped way down in my seat so she couldn't see me. Mrs. Gutsman set the boxes on Mr. Scary's desk. Then she looked all around the room. I slumped in my seat even further. Only too bad for me because Blabbermouth May pointed me out. Mrs. Gutsman, Mrs. Gutsman, she hollered. Junie Jones is trying to hide from you. She's sliding down in her chair so you can't see her, but I'm keeping track of her movements. After that, I slid all the way to the floor under my desk. I curled up into a ball and I hid my head. Pretty soon, I heard feet walking to my desk. I'm getting used to that sound. The feet stopped next to my chair. I opened one eye and I peeked out. I saw the bottom of Mrs. Gutsman's white apron. Junie B, said her voice, why are you sitting on the floor? I didn't move any muscles. Cause maybe she would still go away, possibly. Junie B, said Mrs. Gutsman, I brought you something for your class. Don't you want to see what it is? I shook my head real fast. No, thank you, I said. I don't want to see it. And so you can be on your way now, please. I opened my other eye and I looked at her feet. I kept on standing there. Then, all of a sudden, I heard a loud groan. And what do you know, that woman squatted right down next to me. I was shocked to see her. Mrs. Gutsman, I said, what are you doing down here? Mrs. Gutsman did not look comfortable. Please, Junie B, I need your help, she said. I brought cookies for your class today but there's no one up there to help me pass them out. I rolled my eyes way back in my head because that was not even the truth, of course. Yes, there is, Mrs. Gutsman, I said. There's lots of people up there to help you. Mrs. Gutsman shook her head. No, no, you don't understand, she said. After that, she reached into her pocket and she pulled out a pair of plastic mitts. I need a real helper, Junie B, she said. I need someone with experience. Mrs. Gutsman smiled, kind of painful. Please, she said, if we don't stand soon, I'm going to fall right on my keister and you'll never get me up. I did a teensy smile, because that was a little joke, I believe. Finally, I crawled out from my desk and I helped Mrs. Gutsman stand up. I guess I can help you pass out cookies, I said kind of quiet, but some of these children are still very mad at me, you know? Mrs. Gutsman held my hand. Yes, well, I think maybe I can fix that, she said. After that, me and her walked to the front of the room together, and Mrs. Gutsman showed everyone the cookies. Sugar cookies, shouted the children. Thank you, Mrs. Gutsman, thank you. Mrs. Gutsman put her hand on my shoulder. Don't thank me, class, she said. Junie B. Jones is the one who reminded me to pay you a visit this year. She's the one you need to thank. For a second, no one said anything. Then, 
all of a sudden, Herb hollered out, Thank you, Junie B. Jones! And then all the other children hollered, Thank you, too! I grinned real big, because those words felt happy in my ears. After that, I hurried back to the sink and washed my hands. Then, I quick put on my mitts and ran back. Mrs. Gutsman gave me a thumbs up. Ready to go, helper? She said, ready to go, I said back. And so the both of us passed out all the cookies together. And I did a perfect job. And so here it is what I'm thinking. I'm thinking that maybe someday I won't be the boss of lunch after all. Maybe someday I will just be the boss of cookies instead. Because boss of cookies is the most delicious job I've ever heard of. Plus also, I will get to make all the cookie rules. And I have already thought of rule number one. I wrote it in my journal so I wouldn't forget. Rule number one. The boss of cookies gets to have five sugar cookies all to herself. P.S. Only never eat them in front of the children because that would probably be rude. Probably. P.S. again. Plus sometimes she can even have six. Ha! Huh. The end. And that is the end of our Junie B. Jones book, Boss of Lunch. Thanks again for listening, preschoolers. I hope you guys enjoy some time at home and some time with your family. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay active. Bye, guys.